What's up Lock Fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Lock Tip Tuesday and we are going to talk about combining locks. When it comes to combining locks, there are three major ways that you can use and so I'm going to go through each method and show you how to do them. As well, I usually have examples on these um, from the past so I'll be sure to list all of those videos in the description box below. So this is going to be an up close and personal video. So the first one is the two strand twist method. Alright, so the first method is the easiest one to me and that is the single least two strand twist method. All you got to do is take two locks or whatever you want to combine. You start by twisting the first lock and then you twist the other lock in the opposite direction so that they're nice and tight at the root and then as you're twisting well those, that's pretty nice and tight so I'm not going to twist that anymore but as you're twisting you want to individually twist the lock as well so that way it will stay tighter and this is the same method that I use to do my two strand twist lock style when I just want to do it as a temporary style and this is also a way to keep it in there some people are having um, trouble keeping the locks but in slow motion I am actually twisting each individual lock as I'm two strand twisting down and you keep that going all the way to the end then here's your final results and you can simply just put a rubber band on the end and even when I let it go you can see how it's staying without the rubber band so if you use the single least twist method this is a nice way to keep your locks combined the next method is using a needle and thread and you can do this by weaving them side by side you can go in and weave them just like this going side by side like that and if you keep going down they'll eventually combine side by side or if you prefer the rounder method you can two strand twist the single ease method all the way down and then you can start about right here because the root is the fastest part to lock so you really don't need to thread that part and just weave the thread all the way down making sure that it goes through at least one of the locks literally through one of the locks and just go all the way down to the very very end and I think I have an example because I actually combined something that was really really small here's one of my older ones you can see the thread right here and already it's combined all of that so it's about right here I got a good maybe two inches left here's another example of a really of two small locks that I had to combine two strand twisted you can't even tell that it's two strand twisted anymore and right here you can see where it's still twisted and I have the thread right here so eventually that's going to combine completely and you're not going to be able to tell at all that it was two strand twisted or threaded and then the last method is kind of like a insta locks method it is time consuming that's why I never done it but it's very effective and that's using a crochet needle a very very small one this one is a size um, it says 10 slash 1.3 mm and I got this from Michaels but I'll use this on one of my two headed dragons so I just two strand twisted to about right here and all this has combined so far but if I wanted to combine all of this down what I would do is take the needle and put it through one lock if I can get it in there and then put it through the other lock and I simply just pull and I keep doing that in the same spot 
it is kind of difficult especially on mature locks but it is effective and then I'll turn it to the other side and just keep pulling one side all the way through and because it has a little curved hook it'll take the hair and pull it as it's going through the other side you hear that I don't know if you can hear that but it's actually sound like it's ripping but it's ripping the hair through the other lock and already you see that part is starting to be combined and you can continue that all the way down if you would like or um, you can two strand twist just so you will have a shape and then do the same thing wrong end and just pull it pull it through like I said it's time consuming but effective um, if you decide to use this method definitely get something they do have crochet needles with a handle like a plastic handle and it's for better grip because this keeps slipping but I don't want that combined so I'm gonna take that part that I've done loose and leave yes, it like those that. are the three methods that you can use to permanently combine your locks two strand twist needle and thread crochet or you can use a combination they're all effective it just depends on how long you are willing to wait for your locks to combine and when it comes to actually combining your locks how long does it take for um, those two strand twists or the the thread and needle to disappear or however long does it take for it to look like one lock again I think that really just depends on your hair type and maybe how mature your locks are if you look at one of the videos that I did on my husband's locks I did his first set his first set with two strand twists and I took those out because they're really really large and then I did another set using um, smaller a smaller amount of locks instead of four I used two locks and two strand twisted those and then threaded the ends and they still look like two strand twists he has about this much that has combined but the rest of it is still two strand twists whereas mine I did mine way later than his and mine is already more mature as far as the combina the, um, the combining process so maybe it's because my hair is a lot softer and maybe also it's because my um, my locks aren't as mature so it doesn't take that much marrying to get them to lock together they're still kind of fuzzy so all those fuzzies will connect a little bit faster than mature hair if that makes any sense that is all for this video thanks so much for watching I know y'all are excited for those of you who know about the secret giveaway I hosted a giveaway for my subscribers instead of announcing it on my last lock tip Tuesday video and I'm going to be giving it away two Jamaican black castor oils to one woman and one man and the winners are Demetrius Turner and Wynn Singerful. Wynn Singerful. I hope I did not um, butcher your names but hopefully you guys know who you are. Congratulations. Y'all give them a congratulations. Do not worry there are so many more chances for y'all to win. Not only lock products but um, I'll be hosting quite a bit of giveaways as far as um, product reviews and all that good stuff and as far as the winners just contact me either on Instagram DM me your address or on here here on um, YouTube message me your address and I'll have those out to you guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned and I'll see y'all next time signing out peace